G'day guys, today I'm down at American Flyers in Santa Monica, about to sit my part 107 written test. So I've studied all day yesterday, which was Monday. Today's Tuesday. I rang up last Friday to see the availability of getting in and they're like, just come down whenever, give us a phone call. So now I'm gonna go sit my test, wish me luck, I'll come back. And if I pass, I can give you guys some tips. Okay guys, so I passed my part 107. I got 80%, the pass mark is 70%, so 10% above the pass mark, I'm pretty happy with that. But for all you guys out there wanting to get your part 107, it really isn't that difficult. I rang up American Flyers last Friday. I said, do I need to book in? They're like, no, come down, just give us a call, heads up. Uh, they've got three computers in there so they can do more than one at once. So very helpful down here at American Flyers. It's $150 um, to pass, guys. I've got some notes right here that I'm gonna give you. So I'll also put some links up on the screen to reference material. Basically, everything is on the FAA website. You do not have to go and pay five, $600 for some online course from some private company. Um, I get it that there's a business out there and there's money in educating people, but some of these courses prices are way, way too expensive. I paid zero dollars to pass my part 107, apart from the $150 fee. Everything you need to pass this part 107 test, guys, is on the FAA website, .gov forward slash UAS. I'm gonna put that on the screen right now so you can see it. All the knowledge test prep is there as well, all the links. Um, the airman, airman certificate standards, the knowledge test instructions, knowledge test study guide. Um, that one is FAA-G8082-22. Basically everything that they've got there, there's four or five links. You wanna study it, you wanna read it from start to finish. Write notes like I've done. You know, reading's one thing, but writing notes really helps with the study. Um, another thing is you wanna get on is the part 107 advisory circular that they have there. You wanna read that, that's gonna help as well. Also, they say to go out and buy the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge. It's 25 bucks on Amazon. I think I saw it for $16 on Target. You don't really need to buy it. The FAA has it for a free download there, the PDF format. So it's got all the information. As you can tell, we're at the airport here, so there's planes going off, but um, yeah, the, the aeronautical knowledge book is free download at the FAA. So the FAA website has everything you need to pass that exam. There's 40 sample questions on the FAA website there. Go through those, use the, uh, the figures that they give to go to the maps. It's gonna wanna check ceiling heights for, you know, for airspace, radio frequencies, weather, risk management, all these topics that were covered in the study material. So guys, once you've gone through all the study material, there's 41 sample questions on the FAA website. These questions are very similar to what's in there. I actually got 63 questions. Someone mentioned 61 questions, but I got 63 questions. You're gonna to wanna to go over the charts, weather maps, everything in that study guide is in there. You know, there's a few trick questions um, in regards to weather and visibility. You know, stable air, is it safe to fly in these conditions? There's sort of, there's some trick questions which I got caught on a couple. But um, for the answers for the 41 questions on the FAA website, go to Rupricate Law. Um, I probably said that wrong, sorry Jonathan, but rupricatelaw.com. He has all the answers and some really helpful information there regarding the part 107. Another good website that I got referred to by a friend is uh, Udemy. Um, dot com, which is U-D-E-M-Y. Um, there's a really good test on there um, that has about 50, 55 questions. Um, that's by Tim Trott. And there's 14 sections, videos, um, there's reference material. That's only $19. So check that one out, guys, udemy.com. Then go to UAS and look for Tim Trott and um, his course, it, it's, it's quite thorough. Um, so that's a pretty good, pretty good one as well. I checked out, but it's only $19. So that's it guys. That's all my sort of tips there. Again, I can't emphasize that if you study all the material on the FAA website, you do the knowledge test questions there um, that they've given you, check the answers at Jonathan's website. 
um, read other reference material. You don't need to go and spend three, four, five, six hundred dollars on some company that's offering you to pass first time. I passed from all the information off the FAA website. So I know it sounds like a broken record, but I'm really here to help you guys and save you guys some money on getting your part 107. I'm also an Australian citizen. I'm not a US citizen. However, I do have a green card, so which I have a California driver's license. So as long as you have a California driver's license um, of your state, whichever state that is, a green card and a, I had a, a passport, which they did ask for, you can get your part 107. So I'm not a US citizen, but I am a green card holder. I have a passport and I got my part 107 license test, all good. So thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like this video, give us a comment and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more great videos. We've got some great reviews coming up on some great new gear. Thanks for tuning in again guys. You guys rock, we'll see you in the next one.